Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. Have you ever wanted to see a naked ape? No? Good, I'll keep my shirt on just for you. Now that that bad dad joke is off to the side and shelved, the cocktail we're gonna make is called a naked ape. And you can actually find that in the Smuggler Cove cocktail book. And you can find it on page 135, and it was actually created by Martin Kate, who is one of the authors of the book. Now, it's a tiki drink with five ingredients, and it looks fantastic, so let's get into it. Now, this is a simple five ingredient cocktail, like I said before, and the good thing about this is there's not a lot of ingredients, so it's kind of light for a tiki cocktail drink, but it's gonna be simple, it's gonna be fantastic. Now, this is a shaken cocktail, so put that glass back and grab your shaking tin. And we're gonna start this off simply with a little bit of lemon juice. So what we'll do is we will cut this in half and squeeze out half an ounce or 15 milliliters. You can't go wrong with a little bit of lemon juice. It fits most cocktails like a glove. In some cocktails, you would actually be better off having a little bit of lemon juice than lime juice, but again, your personal preferences. However, the next thing we're going to use is a homemade cinnamon syrup. We're going to use the same amount, half an ounce or 15 milliliters. What I will do is I will put the ingredients in the method of how to make this down in the description for you so you can make your own cinnamon syrup. So what we're gonna start with next is a little bit of Angostura bitters, and we need one dash. It appears that I am literally all out of bitters. I got just enough out of there for a dash. Time to go buy another bottle. However, what we are going to do next is add some banana liqueur. Now I'm using McGinnis brand banana liqueur. It's what I have. Use what you have or what you can get hold of. And we need a half an ounce or 15 milliliters. You just can't go wrong with a little bit of banana. However, we're gonna get into our full spirits now and our rum. So we're starting off with a little bit of Ray and Nephew Overproof Rum. Now this is a 63% rum. If you wanna use something a little bit stronger, you can. Uh, totally up to you and your personal flavor. But we're gonna start with half an ounce or 15 mils. This is gonna be a good cocktail. A little bit of Ray and Nephew goes a long way. Now, the next thing we're going to use is a black rum. I'm using Gosling black rum, and the recipe specifically calls for a black rum. However, what we are going to do is use an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. <laughs> Fantastic, the color looks great. Uh, you got some good rums in here to work with, some great ingredients. What we are going to do now is we are going to fill this glass up with some crushed ice. Now, we are going to whip shake this. So, you just have to remember that your crushed ice is going to, uh, it's gonna dissolve and dilute a lot faster. So, you know, give a flip and shake it with a smile. Yeah, pop that off with the strength of a thousand limes. Like so. Now what we are going to do is we are gonna put this in our happy faced tiki glass. But we're going to fill this halfway with some crushed ice. And the reason you wanna fill it only halfway is because you wanna make sure that there's enough space in the glass for everything in your cocktail shaker. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add this, but we're just gonna gate it slightly to keep out any chunks of ice. Oh, look at that, absolutely fantastic looking. So what we're gonna do is fill this up now with a little bit more crushed ice, just to give us a nice little domed top like so. And what I'll do is I have a leftover uh, lime husk from a previous drink. I'll throw that in here is my uh, garnish, like, well, anyways, like that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get myself a straw. So, let's give it a smell, shall we? So immediately what we have is a little bit of lime, but we're not getting much else because of the ice. Oh, so good, so good. You get very light hints of uh, 
the banana, the rum is there, but the rum is tempered by the taste of the uh, cinnamon syrup and a little bit of the Ray and Nephew, that overproof gives it that bit of a kick. And you know what? Oh, it's so good, so simple to make. What I'm going to do is put the ingredients and a method of how to make this down in the description down below for you. And if this is your first time to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. You have a fantastic day. How's that?